Thank you. If you have tried to buy a home recently, you know how hot the market is, and we've been following this story for a while. In fact, according to the Maine Association of Realtors, prices for homes in Maine are up 21% from a year ago, and a new report says it's now cheaper to buy a home in Connecticut than Maine. To try and save money, a lot more people are looking at maybe fixer-uppers, but is it really your best option? We are joined now live by Jen Burke from the Maine Credit Union League. So, Jen, let's start with the positives, other than having you know, a lower sales price, a lower number. What are some of the pros of buying a fixer upper? Yeah, I mean, there's really a lot to think about when you're purchasing a fixer upper. You know, if you aren't flexible in, let's say, the city or town you want to live in, even the neighborhood, you may only have a fixer upper option to choose from. So that could be really advantageous to the home buyer. Property taxes will probably also be low on a fixer-upper because the home valuation is lower. So property taxes will be lower. And then another pro is if you have a fixer-upper and you're reconstructing it, you're essentially building perhaps your dream home, building a home exactly the way you want it at a price that's cheaper than let's say a new construction build. And if you want to flip it, you know, we've all watched those shows on the HGTV, you know, there could be money you could make down the road, but it's a gamble. And I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't put money on the bank on that. You just never know, but there certainly are some upsides to a fixer upper. Now, any current homeowner knows that, uh, you know, any kind of projects you're going to do on the house, <sighs> chances yep. are, um, you know, the costs can skyrocket. So I would assume that those are some of the negative financial implications of maybe buying a fixer upper. You have it 100% right. I mean, the supply chain crisis has impacted all industries, including building and constructions. So not only are your building costs gonna cost more, paint, uh, lumber, if you hire someone, if you're not doing the work yourself, the labor costs are gonna go up. You need to factor that in. Plus, there's a valuation you need to add on to your time. You know, these projects take an enormous amount of time and energy on the homeowner's part. You need to put a valuation to that to see if you're up for it. You also need to consider, can you live at the home while this construction is going on? If you can't, you need to factor in rent, which is additional costs. And you also need to look at permitting costs and the cost of getting a home inspection done. Don't skimp out on that. You, it could be more than just cosmetic. You want to have a professional come in, pay those dollars because they could identify structural issues, which may drive up your costs or make you say, hey, I need to walk away from this project. So there's a lot to consider. Mm -hmm. There's pros and cons, and you need to create a budget and stick to it and make sure a fixer upper really is the best financial option for you. Yeah, and you probably, it's probably, it could it could depend depending on the house. You know, it might be a good option. It might not be such a good it option. It might so, not yeah. be. That's, that's true. And you know, if something seems too good to be true, chances are it probably is. And there, that is definitely true, especially now in this hot real estate market. Yeah, sometimes it's best just to sit tight and wait for the right yeah. one. Yeah. All yeah. right, Jen Burke, thank you so much. I know it's a struggle for so many people looking for a home right now, even folks looking for a fixer upper. So hopefully this is some good advice and help a little bit out on during this Thanks, difficult time for so many people. Mm -hmm. Jen, thank, thank you. you.